I mean, I really hope that, that, you know, men will be held more accountable and that, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll diminish these, these occurrences. You know, if we have to frighten men in order to get them to stop behaving that way, you know, I think really what has to happen is there has to be more women in position of power, and that's the only way to topple the patriarchy. What I've taken away is that for men at this point, it's been it's been suggested that I think it's it's probably better to listen than talk, mm -hmm. and so I've been really concentrating on listening, which I think is a, probably a good a good note. Yeah. When you're lucky enough to get to work and to have a platform. Um, you know, I want to advocate with my fellow actresses for what is right, you know, and not just for our industry, but for all industries. So, um, you know, it's like the pay, the pay dispute that's been going on for the last couple of years between female actresses and actors. You know, that's not just about how women are paid in Hollywood, it's about women are paid all over the world. And this similarly, obviously, we've seen this is in all walks of life and it's important to keep the conversation really broad. This, this movement is, a long time coming and uh, this woman's movement um, and I feel like standing in solidarity for all the women who are brave enough to come up and you know say what's happened to them um, it's 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 so important